military readiness. For retaliation in the event of full-scale enemy attack, this country has developed the intercontinental ballistic missile. The speed and low radar profile of the ICBM make necessary a radar defense of very long range. Carrying an even greater payload, the manned bomber offers a highly defendable and flexible weapon. Since most potential enemy targets lie in areas of relatively flat topography, the United States Air Force visualized the need for a third weapon system type designed for specific high-speed, low-level missions and carrying high-yield payloads to be available in 1965 or soon thereafter. General Dynamics, Convair Division, began work under an Air Force Air Research and Development Command contract on a development study for such a weapon. Convair dubbed this weapon the Big Six. The missile, as proposed by Convair, is cylindrical in shape, 13 feet high, 5 feet in diameter, and 52 feet long. Operational weight, approximately 50,000 pounds. This weapon system is an unmanned, nuclear-powered ramjet missile capable of sustained supersonic speed at very low altitude. The missile will be launched into flight by a rocket booster. Top speed under nuclear propulsion is over Mach 3, and its range is approximately 11,000 nautical miles. Targets are reached by inertial guidance, programmed to penetrate below the radar defense floor to heavily defended or to hardened, undefended targets. Accuracy, 1 to 2 nautical miles with all inertial guidance. Delivered payload, a 6,400-pound warhead for one-way bombardment mission. Aside from the high-temperature steel airframe, it has three main elements. Reactor and associated systems, guidance and flight control, and armament. The reactor power plant is 55 inches in diameter. Airflow is provided from the ram air inlet in the nose of the vehicle. The air duct is routed around armament and control sections of the missile to the reactor section. The reactor, being developed by the Marquardt Aviation Company, is maintained at 2300 degrees Fahrenheit wall temperature. Controls are actuated on command from the inertial guidance system, which is located in a shielded compartment. Armament arrangement gives this weapon its greatest flexibility. In this version, a 6,400-pound device available from present stockpiling is used. An alternate version of the basic missile substitutes eight 450-pound bombs for the single unit, ejecting the bombs over separate targets and features a highly accurate map-matching system. Flight path is programmed in the inertial system, which operates the movable control canards on the forward towel. These canards produce all yaw and pitch roll movement. Aft fins provide stability. Preliminary design ensures high versatility from either fixed or mobile basing. If operated from hard bases in conjunction with other strategic air command activities, the highest level of maintenance and readiness can be easily attained with very short reaction time. At these hard bases, the missile areas would include system and propulsion check bunkers and the associated launch site. Mobile basing, virtually immune to enemy attack, would utilize a vehicle train with tractor, missile carrier, missile launcher, and support vehicle. From either fixed or mobile basing, the missile is boosted to flight velocity by a single-stage rocket unit of the Minuteman class. That is, with a burning time of 58 seconds and a total thrust of 178,000 pounds. The reactor does not become critical until immediately before launch, reducing radiation hazard for personnel and equipment. 
On a typical mission, the booster lifts the missile to cruise altitude at a velocity of 2,700 feet per second. The booster drops off after burnout. Reactor propulsion maintains a maximum rate of climb of 30,000 feet per minute to its cruise altitude over friendly areas. The inlet spike is retracted during cruise. At the point of penetration into hostile areas, the missile reacts to terrain clearance radar altimeter and inertial guidance programming, dropping to the penetration altitude of 1,000 feet for the low-level dash. Low altitude sustained dashes of greater than 1,500 miles are possible. As the weapon approaches an area defense line, it is below the long-range radar floor, reducing warning time. Moving at Mach 3, it is extremely difficult to defend against at this altitude without multiplying radar defense. Working in team with the ICBM, which neutralizes outer area defense, moves on and is expanded with the bomb on or over the prime target. The alternate bombing and navigation arrangements make possible a flexible attack plan, which, when coordinated with other weapons, provides a devastating blow to the enemy's ability to make war. This version penetrates the defense area and moves on a programmed attack course, correcting its own navigation errors. Over each selected target, the missile ballistically ejects one or more nuclear bombs. Each target complexes could be struck in a single missile flight. In the manufacturing stage, the airframe can be produced at minimum cost on the basic principles and production methods already developed and proven by Convair in existing weapon systems. To assure reliability, the guidance system and many subsystems can be modified from current articles. Armament is stockpiled and available now. The simplicity of design possible with this concept makes the missile operational in a relatively short time span. Support and backup methods are easily adaptable from those developed for other systems. The proposal specifies that the reactor be developed concurrently with the airframe, with a full-scale demonstration in July of 1960, establishing the practicability of the system. A chemical ramjet will test and perfect the missile and all systems before the reactor unit is ready for production. Reactor airframe mating is scheduled for 1963. First nuclear-powered flight will be in mid-1964. The Big Stick is a mobile, versatile, inherently reliable weapon with operational flexibility and high payload. Taking advantage of the limitations in enemy defense and operating in conjunction with other elements of the arsenal team, this weapon system greatly adds to the retaliatory strength of this nation.